I originally bought my 500 gig time capsule about the time I got my MacBook Air 64 gig um, version and it was tons of space for me to back up so I was really happy with it now that I've switched over to a MacBook Pro 500 gig it's really not enough because I filled it up the uh, with a couple updates about three days after I got it um, so it's time to upgrade the hard drive to do this just flip it over and in this case I'm gonna have the sent the uh, little indicator dot pointing towards me I've done this before so some of the steps are a little easier for me um, mainly this first one where you need to peel off this rubber backing um, for me it just peels up because it's you know I've loosened the uh, glue what I did before I took it off was uh, the first time was for two reasons I gave my uh, my time capsule a real hard run uh, just transferred about 500 gigs of stuff from it right off of it onto my onto my MacBook and then uh, then just delete it off my MacBook just to get the hard drive warm get everything warm so the glue is nice and nice and sticky um, makes things a little easier especially when you get into the hard drive um, I took out the 10 screws that are here um, not those ones these four you don't take out and you don't take out the ones underneath this these little black dots but all the rest there's I think 10 of them um, they come out and then with this pointing towards you with the indicator pointing towards you it upside down over on the right hand side open it like a book and the reason you're doing this is at the back here there's a fan and the fan is wired into the bottom so if you do it the other way you'll, you could damage that connection and you don't want to do that because that fan helps keep everything cool once you're inside I've already swapped over my hard drives but uh, hard drive but there's uh, one thing you have to do uh, two things other you need to take this little sensor it's underneath a little foam thing and uh, peel it up and then put it down on the new one in, the, in the, roughly the same spot so on my old hard drive which is right here this is the, the original one that came with it it's a 500 gig Seagate and it has a little Apple logo because that's who uh, it was made for them. Um, you can still see some remnants of the glue there. That was from uh, from the sensor. So I just transferred it over, put it in roughly the same spot and pushed it down. That was another reason why I wanted to give the hard drive a bit of a run. It gave me uh, a nice soft, soft glue underneath there for me to peel it up and made it a little easier. Um, the next thing I had to do is change over these little risers. Um, these are the things that go in and you see through the little windows on the other side that we didn't unscrew the first time. Um, so you can undo those. You don't need a screwdriver for that. You can, If you can do it with your fingers, then that's great. Um, one of them, one of mine was stuck, so I got a pair of pliers, but they do accept a, uh, a screwdriver as well. So um, there you go. That one's kind of destroyed. That's the one I use the screwdriver on, but the others, I just use my fingers. So take those out and put them on your new hard drive. And then on this one, on the one that's in here, you just lift it up a little bit they're not, they're not, those little screws aren't holding it down or anything. So you can do it once it's out of there. Um, I just lifted it up like this, undid the SATA connection, undid the power connection, and then slid the hard drive out. I'm not going to do it again because this is the hard drive that I want to be in there. That's a two gig, uh, or two terabyte drive sitting there that I've, and I've taken out the 500 gig. Um, next thing is you're going to want to close it. I had some troubles. My power thing back here was, uh, it rose up the first time I did this and it wasn't allowing me to plug it in. So just go around the back and I'm going to put it upside down for a second and make sure everything's all lined up here. So there, yeah, just make sure everything lines up nicely. Uh, there's no, nothing moved around. Then we're going to close it like a book, same, same as before. Lift it up, put it down, put all the screws back in, put the top back on with the apple facing away from you. Of course, you'd put the screws on first. You wouldn't do it this way because this is dangerous. Then you'd bring it over to your wherever you plug in your uh, time capsule. Plug in your internet. Plug in your power. And then you would wait. Once the light goes green, you can connect to your network, and once you're fully connected, open up airport utility, still waiting for the connection. There's my time capsule. Choose manual setup. Once in here, I go to disks. You'll see that the capacity has gone from 500 gigs to 1.8 terabytes. Hit erase, and I'm going to rename it. I like to call it mine HG12. Time capsule. I don't know why. Quick erase. 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 Doo -doo -doo. It's going to take a second. All 
All right, so successfully erased and successfully formatted. So I come in here and I go open Time Machine Preferences, and I'm going to transfer it over to my new drive. And I would go select disk, I would choose HD Wells on Time Capsule, and use for backups. I'm not going to do that now because I'm going to want to do a wired backup my first one, because it does take a while and over Wi-Fi, it's slow. Anyways, if you uh, have any questions, post them in the comments. Otherwise, it's fairly straightforward. It's really just swapping a hard drive over to making sure you put the temperature sensor back on. Otherwise, your drive could overheat. Again, any questions, feel free to ask. Have a nice day.